Okay, here's another one. Hope for our times. Another one of those big channels that are 100% controlled. If they're not controlled, they're pushing the narrative of the mainstream. But uh, this is Hope for Our Times. They got uh, 215,000 subscribers. This is a uh, Pastor Tom Hughes and Pastor Brandon Holtos. And uh, I want to let you listen to a little bit, and I want to tell you uh, what happened yesterday. But he's pushing, he's pushing Trump, and he's pushing voting that Trump is going to get rid of Hezbollah. And he doesn't understand that, that these terrorist groups are controlled by Israel. Just like, uh, uh, what's the one that, uh, I can't think of the name of it, but listen to a little bit of this. Strategic re responses, but don't go to a full out war. So Netanyahu is in a difficult place. Uh, he's in a difficult place. He knows what needs to happen. The IDF knows what needs to happen. They're going to have to wipe them out. But they might have to wait to see if Trump gets in there. And if Trump gets in... This guy is so arrogant. Just check him out, man. These these pastors, they're definitely... They're, they're too big for their britches, man. Unbelievable. But uh, I'll go ahead and tell you what happened uh, last night. Was uh, He was lecturing the people in the comments about voting, saying that, you know, any Christian that doesn't vote for Trump is just voting for the evil, the evil Democrats. You know what I mean? And uh, I put a very respectful comment. I said, uh, voting is rigged. I said, both sides, your left and right, are controlled and ran by the prince and power of the air. The Bible tells us all about it. He owns the kingdoms of this world, just like he offered them to Jesus. Jesus recognized that the devil does control the kingdoms of this world. But I put that comment, and not 10 seconds later, I got blocked and put in timeouts. And any more of the comments I tried to post were like real dark. And whenever I would hit send, it would say, host has you in timeout. So what it is, is what I was noticing was a lot of the other people in the comments are starting to wake up to voting. They're saying stuff like, well, I'm only voting for Jesus, or stuff like uh, voting for the lesser of evil is still evil. So the people are starting to come out of this paradigm, but these gatekeepers, like Ho for Our Times, are trying to keep the people in that paradigm. That's what they do. They push their narrative. They want people to follow and do what they say. They don't want people to think for themselves. But listen to a little bit more of what this guy, man, this guy's unbelievable. And then it's Katie bar the door. It, it's like will unleash all Hades on Hezbollah and wipe them out. So this election has huge ramifications um, as far as what Israel will do in the Middle East and Hades on Hezbollah and wipe them out. So this election has huge ramifications. Not like it's already been pre-selected. These pastors that are pushing voting, man, they, they're they either very, very deceived or they're in on it. There's no in-between. Asians, um, as far as what Israel will do in the Middle East, and then ultimately, you know, you know Tom, that uh, they have to deal with Iran. Now, the last time I was on the ground there in June... I want to try to find the part where he starts lecturing everybody about about us voting and then he goes off he says i even know certain christians that think trump is the antichrist he's like that is so foolish of them and just talking down like how stupid how anybody could think that the chosen one is an antichrist man unbelievable our our idf unit saying there are life and death situation either we survive uh and they die or we die and they survive. That's how they're uh, looking at this, Tom. And so this dude, this thing's a total powder keg. And uh, it sets, I think it's a chain reaction. Once it starts happening, it's going to set off a chain reaction of all kinds of stuff. Because then you've got Russia involved because they're connected to Iran. you got Turkey involved because they're connected to Russia and, and Turkey and they hate Israel. So um, I, I, that's my opinion, but that's what I'm hearing on the ground, mm -hmm. Tom.
Yeah, that's excellent. That's my opinion, but that's what I'm hearing on the ground. In other words, it's fact. It's not my opinion. But these guys don't understand that Turkey, Iran, Russia, China, they're all controlled by the prince and power of the air. You know, they try to push the divide. They want to keep these nations divided. That's how these men rule, through divide and rule. It's the oldest trick in the book. How do these guys not understand that? I, I believe Israel will do something. The timing is like you said, when. In fact, they're going to have to do something. They can't they not to. do anything. They've got to deal with Iran eventually being the, the big problem because they're the ones who, who have their proxies like hell. But it's channels like this. The reason why I stay sub to these channels is they're going to be the ones pushing the deception. So just watch what all, all these channels, all these big prophecy channels like Prophecy Watchers, Hope for Our Times, they're all pushing the same narrative. None of them are going against each other, if you know what I mean. People are doing all of their fighting. It's kind of like it's, to, it's the war of attrition. So bring yes. Israel to a point where they've got to launch. I want to find the part where he's talking about voting. It shouldn't be too far ahead. This is only a 41 minute live stream, but hold on. More and more of evacuees already, but they're going to, anybody who is a horrific person, they're painting her out to be the Virgin Mary, uh, but she's, she's an Israel hater. She's a Jew hater. Absolutely. And to think this is the direction things I, it, I mean, imagine somebody from... They were also saying that there are even far-right Christians that are going against Israel, not realizing they're going against God's people. When these guys don't realize that back in 70 AD, the Deuteronomy prophecy where Israel would be put on ships and scattered to the four corners of the earth, after this event happened, it left a huge vacuum because God turned from the Jews. And who do you think filled that vacuum? These pastors haven't gotten that memo yet. The left comes in to be president. It is just full, uh, the anti-Semitism, the green light for anti-Semitism and Jew hatred and increased pressure against Israel is going to be in a place that we have not experienced in our lifetimes. Right, and, 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 and so. Uh, it's gonna be these people Right here, where like it talks in the Bible, they're going to turn you over to the synagogues. It's going to be these people that are turning the, the true Christians in when it gets to that point. Guarantee it. Let me, let me answer both of those things that you mentioned, attrition, because I talked to Caroline Glick, as you know, when I was in Israel last time. And she brought that up, that we're fighting a war of attrition and it's more expensive for us. It, 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 uh, uh, Hezbollah, because it gets its funding and missiles from Iran, it, it's pen, it, you know it's pennies on the dollar for them to. Sh they don't get their funding from Iran. Missiles into Israel, but it's millions of dollars for Israel to defend itself. And and we know about the missiles, the Iron Dime. I've done a video on that. If anybody hasn't seen it, let me know in the comments and I'll share it. And. And so what you end up having, happening is it's destroying their economy. And you've been there. Yeah. I've been there uh, recently. And there's no economy going on as far as tourism, that's for sure. And, and, and you just can't keep paying money to defend yourself. It, it actually, in, a, in, in war, military strategy, you will lose the war if you're, you're just simply on the defense all the time. You have to eventually go on the offense because it actually saves you money. And so Caroline Glick brought that out. So it, it comes to a certain point that Israel is going to face that we have to attack because we're running out of money. So now let's go to Kamala um, and whoever her handlers are and whoever was handling the Biden administration. They hate Israel. They hate Israel. They say that the Obama administration and Kamala gave Israel like either three or six billion dollars. See, that's the big lie that both parties, left and right, give Israel more money than anybody. Unbelievable, this guy is so full of it. They love them, but they don't. They, their actions speak louder than words. And Iran, you know, they gave Iran. Talking about actions speaking louder than words, all these, uh, the conservative Republicans say, oh, well, Trump, he's for the second amendment. 
the 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 Republicans have done more legislation against the Second Amendment. They've instituted red flag laws. They're always doing that where Trump says, I like to take the, the guns first and then do due process after. And he also banned, he signed an executive order and banned bump stocks. So they, they just want people divided and it's just, keep going. Billions and billions of dollars, billions um, and billions. Uh, the Biden administration. So anyway, um, what Israel sees now is if Kamala gets in there and we have this continuance of the Biden administration or Leviathan or whatever you want to call it, Israel will be forced to act alone because on Biden's watch, he didn't he slow walked them destroying Hamas. He would not provide the necessary weapons that they needed, especially the 2000 pound bunker busters that they needed to get these guys out of these tunnels, including with mm-hmm. Hezbollah. He wouldn't give them. And, and that's why Netanyahu last week in his speech says, give us the weapons and we'll finish the job. And, and the faster you give us the weapons, the faster we can get this done. And he stated that to Congress. Well, it's because the Joe Biden administration has been slow walking the weapons. And, and so he cannot finish Hezbollah. Well, the Biden administration doesn't really want to finish off Hezbollah. All of these big so-called Christian channels push voting. And even the liberal, all both sides, the one thing they push is voting. You ever notice that? Their men, their mentality, and you, it goes back to this, their mentality, I, I, and this is going to sound bizarre, is that they believe they can they can pacify Iran uh, with you know letting them sell ninety billion dollars of oil to China, uh, unfreezing uh, billions. Worry about the Houthis or or, uh, or Hamas or anyone else for that matter. If we can appease Iran, this is the stupid like Jimmy Carter mentality. We can appease evil, but it also is found in the Bible. Jacob tried to appease Esau, and it didn't work because the perpetual hatred mm-hmm. that Esau had was passed on to his 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 family and that's that's a biblical principle you don't yeah. appease evil that's what we're doing you can't you know it, it's funny in a way I, I remember back when i was in high school i was a freshman in high school i came out of catholic school eighth grade i go i'm a freshman it's my first day of school right i'm not used to a public high i'm gonna fast forward just a little bit more hopefully i can find that part school i'm not used to, but anyways i, I talked to their bullies whatever it is and this is exactly well, it's just absurd. And plus, yeah. you have the Jew hatred at the exact same time going on. It's the Jew hatred plus just, let's just throw a little, a few more pieces of chicken to the alligators or whatever. It, absolutely. And, and then let me add an, an additional factor that's causing a lot of problems in the conservative realm. There, there are conservatives, Tom, that think that, that um, we're actually trying to have a war with Iran that 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 behind the scenes you you have the neocons that are actually they wanting to spike up a war with i have no label i'm not a conservative i'm not a liberal i'm not a baptist they want to label everybody so they can control them with iran which is the most conspiratorial stupidity i've ever yeah. heard um uh, because Everybody in their right mind knows you start a war with Iran, you're bringing in Russia, you're bringing in everybody. And so they're saying, well, the warmongers, you know, and they're using Israel to incite this. And so Israel's part of this neocon conspiracy theory of spiking up a war uh, in the Middle East uh, for the neocons. And the Israel is as white as the driven snow is what this man is trying to say military military industrial complex and i thought oh my goodness i cannot believe i'm hearing this it is so off the mark um but anyway it, you know at the same time we're, we're trying to discuss things in a rational way you have even in the conservative realm conspiratorial stuff that that throws israel under the bus that is being used to to incite all of this and it's like wow um, it's going to be very difficult to have clarity going forward if you don't know the Bible, that's for sure, because it's going to get very confusing out there with the rhetoric. Well, obviously, this guy doesn't know the Bible. Not only coming from the left, but now coming yeah. from the right. 
It's crazy. Yeah. And that Saudi from the right against Israel is only, it's just increasing almost every day, it seems, as we're looking at it. People are waking up. That's why. Yeah. See, these guys are trying to keep people in that paradigm. They're gatekeepers. It's not uh, good. The right against Israel is only, it's just increasing almost every day, it seems, as we're looking at it. Yeah. It's not good. Uh, yeah. Wow. You know, you got people like Tucker Carlson, you have people like Candace Owens yeah. that, that are just showing their anti Semitism and saying that Israel's just a, it's like, oh my goodness, like, wow, you're confusing people, dude. Um, but again, um, I, I think the. This guy's pride has blinded him. He thinks he's wise, and uh, God's made him become a fool, wise in his own eyes. The further we go on, Tom, the more the more lies are going to come out about not only Israel but what it, all these other things. Yeah. You know, and the 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 lies about us, you and I being shills for Israel, shills for the Jews. Yeah, we're shills for Israel, yeah. and 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 you know you and and we're 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 part of the Zionist regime that you know wants you know it's just I'm a Christian nationalist all of a sudden, and they call revelation of the method. And it's just I, I want to build a theocracy. And it's like I'm not a Christian nationalist, but they're painting us all in that corner. Mm -hmm. And I think the devil's working double time to hit us at both ends. And 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 then you got guys going on Tucker Carlson show, you know, denying the rapture that it just was invented, invented by Darby. And it's like, wh wh who are these people, man? I'm so sick and tired of it, Tom. Yeah, but it is amazing the attacks against the Bible. Uh, when we were down in Mexico a few weeks back. Uh All right, you guys get the point. I'll leave the link to this in the description box if anybody's interested. But uh, there was a segment where he started going off on the people that don't vote, how they don't have a right to say anything, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, just wanted to share this. Hope you guys have a good one later on.